Good morning guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I was up really late last night and I woke up this morning and I just feel like so tired. So I just stepped outside and I was just standing out on our back porch in the sun. It literally just started to wake me up. Although my face doesn't look it. I think I decided that I'm going to color my hair today. So last night I washed it with some clarifying shampoo so it would be nice and clean, get rid of any buildup in my hair. I've been back and forth for months now about whether or not I want to color it and I do like the current color of my hair. I mean like all of this basically down to like here is my natural color. When people tell me that I don't look as nice with dark hair, I'm like, okay, well, it's how I was born, so thanks. But I don't know, I just, I'm getting kind of bored with it, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a balayage. I still want to continue growing my hair and keep it nice and healthy, and I still want something that's going to be really low maintenance. I don't want to do anything like too crazy with it. Anyway, I am going to work out today. I've been working out with one of my friends who is a personal trainer, and it's actually been making working out enjoyable, dare I say. After my workout, I'm going to come back do my hair. I'm going to record it for a video. It's so cute. My parents are on vacation currently, just the two of them, and they have been texting me pictures nonstop of them, like, out to eat, like, oh, look, this is <laughs> the drink we got, and this is our dinner. My mom's just sitting there taking pictures of my dad. <laughs> so cute. And here's your daily Benny shot. workout it was intense I don't know how intense it looked watching it all sped up but especially that last part of it the last circuit that I was doing but I'm glad that I got it done that was my last training session of the week so it's just it feels good I'm glad I just got it over with but I'm about to make some breakfast before I start doing my hair or getting any work done because I am starving so I'm making some hard-boiled eggs I'm gonna do a little bit of this turkey sausage and then we got some raspberries and I'm about to make an iced shaken espresso a la Starbucks I've been making these the last couple of days and they are so so good I mean it's super easy but I figured I'd show you how I've been doing it. So of course, feel free to just make your own espresso. You don't need a Nespresso, but um, we are all out of our regular like Bustello espresso. So these are all I have. And we're gonna do two of these because I like a lot. I like a big coffee. I know it's kind of wasteful. Like I said, I normally would just do regular espresso um, on the stove because these are kind of expensive, but this is all I got right now. So now that we have our espresso, this part's optional, but you can add some sweetener, whichever kind you like. I have been using this agave in the raw. I don't like my coffees to be like too sweet, so I just put a little bit of that. Once your sweetener's in there, you know, just swirl it around. You could take a spoon or straw, 
give it a little mix and then add your ice cubes. I know people say that you shouldn't add ice straight to hot espresso because it like shocks the coffee and it makes it like more bitter. I think, I think that's what they say, but this is how I see them do it at Starbucks when they make these. And like I said, I've been making these the last couple of days just like this, and it comes out really good. You want to add a good amount of ice, and then the reason why I'm making this in a mason jar is so that I can put the lid on it. But you know, you could do this in like a thermos or whatever kind of cup you have with the lid. And then we're just going to shake it on up. You just want to keep shaking it until it feels completely cold and then you have all this nice foam on top. Um, I forgot to mention too, you also can add any kind of like syrups or flavorings that you want, um, vanilla extract, cinnamon, like whatever, whatever you want to put in it. I would do that, you know, before you add the ice and then shake it all up together. But I'm a simple girl and I'm just going to use plain half and half. This is the most satisfying part. Are you ready for this? Beautiful. Oh, love to see it. I'm just gonna drink mine with a straw. These glass straws are from Amazon. I'll link them down below. So good. Oh yeah. That was like the perfect hard boiled egg when it's like still a little bit soft on the inside. Funny story, when I was a kid, I used to eat hard boiled eggs all the time my dad used to just always make them for me and i specifically remember i was on vacation with my family and my mom's best friend and her family the best friend's boyfriend was driving the car that we were in and he was just driving so fast and i was sitting in the back of the car and i had just eaten a hard-boiled egg and i got so car sick from the way he was driving that we had to pull over and i just threw up all over the place and it traumatized me and i hadn't had hard-boiled eggs for years after that like I just couldn't even look at them and then when I was in college I started making them all the time again because they're just so easy and yeah now I am back to having them all the time hey <laughs> I look insane right now but this is the process so I have the lightener on my hair right now this is gonna process for like 30 minutes then I'm gonna rinse it out tone it fingers crossed that it comes out good and that it lightens nicely and that we get a nice color and it's not like super brassy uh, and also not damaged because that that was like the biggest thing that was like kind of making me hesitate about lightening my hair was it's finally so healthy and it's actually like growing and I want to continue growing it and keep it nice and healthy so I was like Ugh, I don't want to like start bleaching it again but this technique is also just a lot gentler which is the other reason why I decided to do this rather than foils so I ended up hating it and decided to just go dark just kidding just kidding um I just have the toner on it and it just looks super dark while it's processing especially because it's wet so it doesn't look any different right now but yeah in like another 10 minutes or so I'm gonna wash this out oh and this happened a little while ago don't know how or where the hell it came from but there was a thumbtack on the floor in our bedroom literally have no idea where this thing came from but I was walking around in the bedroom and all of a sudden I felt this shooting pain in my foot and I stepped on the thumbtack and it went completely like into the bottom of my foot it hurt so so bad I was literally crying that's how bad it hurt. But I disinfected it, cleaned it up. So, uh, yeah, now I'm, like, paranoid. And I just keep looking all over the floor to make sure there aren't any more. I'm trying to find a good spot where the lighting actually picks up the color. Maybe I'll go outside and get some clips. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's, you know, definitely subtle, but I feel like it was a good way to ease in, especially because I was, like, I don't know, back and forth about whether or not I wanted to go lighter in the first place so i feel like this just adds some nice dimension to it brightens up my look a little bit but you know i'm still a brunette obviously and it still feels good it's like a little bit dry on the ends but 
I'm not seeing any split ends, so that's good. Good morning. It's the next day. Today is Friday. I just got up, if you couldn't tell. It feels so, so good outside. The weather's been really, like, on and off lately. We've had some days that have just been really dark and rainy and kind of cold. So whenever we have a nice day, I've been trying to enjoy it as much as possible while I still can because I feel like before we know it, winter's gonna be here. I do have some hair clients today. My first one is a virtual consultation. Um, I've been offering that because I've had quite a few people that have been wanting to come get their hair done, but they live like an hour or more away from the salon. Rather than having to drive all the way to the salon just for that little consultation and having to come back two times, we can just do, you know, like a FaceTime. And what's nice about that is that I don't have to actually physically be at the salon either to do that. So I have that earlier in the afternoon that I'm just gonna do from home. And then a few hours later, I have one of my regulars coming in and we are gonna just touch up her blonde. And then at some point in between all of that, I need to finish filming parts for my hair tutorial because I didn't end up filming an intro or an outro yesterday. So I wanna do that, get some after pictures of it for like the thumbnail and stuff, and then edit that video as much as I can today but I'm gonna go drink the rest of my coffee and then eventually pull myself together and get ready for the day getting ready for my virtual consultation and this is my little makeshift setup that works looks cute with the plant behind me <laughs> just propping it up on my suitcase I honestly don't really do these that that often and sometimes I do do them at the salon this is only I think the second time that I'm doing this at home so I don't really have like a proper place to do them so you know I just gotta kind of make whatever work <laughs> But I'm really liking how my makeup came out today. I mean, it's very, very simple and light. I just did a little bit of concealer, powder foundation, and then um, a blush. But I think it's this lip. I did like a different lip combo, and I really, really like it a lot. This might be my new go-to. I'll show you what I used as soon as I finish this call. Hi. Hi. How nice. are you? Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, so what yeah. are you thinking for color. Just finished the consultation. It went really well. It's gonna be a little bit of a color correction kind of situation. She's been doing her hair herself at home, but she sounds like she's actually very knowledgeable about hair and is being very realistic about it. And I didn't get any red flags, so that's good. I've been trying to just be a lot pickier when it comes to taking on new clients that need color corrections because I've just had so many bad situations. Not that there's anything wrong with the clients themselves, they're great, but it's difficult when you do a color correction. It can be expensive and there's no guarantees on the final result and there's most likely going to be damaged and you're most likely going to have to get a haircut and it usually requires multiple sessions to get to your goal and it just requires a lot of patience on the client's end um, and a lot of people don't like to hear that or when you're explaining it to them they're just like very eager to just you know get their hair done that they're like yeah that sounds great no problem fine but then at the end they like get upset with you and it's as if you've never had that conversation and all of the things that you spent so much time explaining to them it's like it went through one ear and out the other. And the hardest part to me about a color correction is not even the actual physical aspect of doing the hair, it's just like communicating with the client and really making sure that they understand everything that it entails. And I just, I don't know, I'm trying to really like listen to my gut and pick up on certain red flags that somebody maybe isn't the right fit for me or isn't the best candidate for a color correction if I feel like they maybe aren't really listening or understanding the process or they have unrealistic expectations or anything like that, you know? I just think that that's really important as a hairstylist because at the end of the day, even if you're doing your best work possible, if the client isn't happy because their expectations were unrealistic or they 
weren't understanding what you were telling them or they were refusing to listen to you or follow your instructions or whatever the case is or were lying to you about their hair history that's going to end up reflecting badly on you at the end of the day and it's really just not worth the stress and the time that is what i have been learning and have been telling myself but this is the lip combo that i did today um, i used the kkw beauty lip liner in nude one and then I topped it with the KKW Beauty Nude One lipstick. The lip liner, even though they're the same shade, it's much darker than the lipstick. So I did the liner, filled in my lips with that, and then I just tapped on the lipstick in the center. And then I just topped it off with a clear gloss from Pixi. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to film the intro and outro to my hair coloring tutorial then i'm going to start working on editing that video and then i have to run to the salon and that's pretty much it for the day oh <sighs> i feel so tired and freaking greasy oh my god i've been sitting at my computer for the last few hours i was doing some editing and then I was working on something exciting. I'll show you a little sneak peek. So I've been working on designing some new merch. So I have a couple of designs that I created months ago, but then I kept putting it off. So I was just sitting here now, like really streamlining everything that I want, making sure that the designs are like sitting right, picking all of the colors and adjusting the prices and all of that. And then I just ordered some samples because um, I'm using a different company this time around. If you didn't know, I had merch last year. I'm gonna do a whole separate video because that th there's like a whole story time with that so yeah I will explain what happened last year when I had my first like merch line it was a little bit of a nightmare um and the reason why I suddenly stopped having stuff available but I wanted to start working with a new company so I want to order some samples get the pieces myself in person first make sure that everything looks right make sure the quality feels good before I share the link with you guys. As soon as I get it in the mail, as long as everything looks good and I don't need to make any changes, I will announce it and share with you guys. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I started watching the Fear Street trilogy on Netflix a few nights ago and I just finished the last part of it this morning. It was pretty good. For the entire month of October I've been trying to watch like scary movies, Halloween related things. But I am currently getting ready to go meet up with a friend. We're going to go to a winery that I've never been to, actually, which is exciting. I love just going to a winery, especially this time of year. I love this time of year, and I love doing fall-related activities. Um, but I especially am trying to, like, go out and do as much as possible and hang out with as many people as I can before I move because... You know, of course, I'll be back to visit. My family is still going to be here, but, you know, I'm going to be moving somewhere where I don't really know anyone. So it's going to take a little while, I'm sure, before I make friends and start having people to hang out with. But also, I'm just going to miss my friends and the people that I know here. So I'm trying to see them and just do as many things in this area, all of the things that I've been wanting to do that I just like never got around to. Here is my outfit for today. Dress is from H&M, flannel is Boohoo, and sneakers are Adidas. <laughs> 